So when we're talking about diminishing the uh, um, the de the depth of breathing, what we mean, it's very interesting uh, to discuss that because what we mean by diminishing the depth of breathing is you see if you see if you imagine the lungs as a volume like this one and then the bronx like this one and then we go to the oral cavities okay so we have some old um, air in the lungs which are enriched by CO2 and we don't know, want to get rid of it so we want to enrich this blend this mixture with only little piece of oxygen you see and if we get the new air and the old blend is meeting the new blend with this surface, the intersection, how do you call it, the surface, the surface. then we, uh, we, we blend too much oxygen and we get rid of too much CO2. Mm -hmm. But if we meet the new air already in the Bronx, so it's only little surface will meet the new air. So we don't get rid of too much CO2 and we, we, um, we, we absorb a little bit of oxygen that we need. Yeah. Because actually our blood is, um, is enriched with oxygen always enough, 95, 96, 97%. It's more than enough. It's very seldom that we go down. To 90 and we miss the oxygen if our system is working um, um, opti opti uh, op okay. optimally uh, so we actually need a very little oxygen you see so what we mean with regulating the depth of breathing we mean meeting that our old blend of gases meet the new blend of gases at so little surface as possible and the deeper we go the bigger the surface you see we have lungs here the surface is big then we go to the bronchioles two bronchioles and then two bronchioles meet in one bronch so the surface is smallest if the depth of breathing if we see the intersection of lungs or the intersection of bronx the intersection of bronx will be a smaller surface so if the new air already meet the old air in the level of bronx or in the level of oral cavities it's fantastic so we actually enrich our air lung pulmonary ventilation we make we enrich the uh, lung air with a little oxygen and we get the maximum oxygen to the blood because the CO2 is very big it doesn't get washed out by too uh, by too uh, deep breathing you see so we are actually interested in so shallow breathing as possible Ooh, by shallow. depth shallow not all, not deep but shallow uh, uh, okay. you know if we go uh, and we want to uh, swim in the ocean yeah, we start to go in the shallow place and it gets yeah. deeper and deeper so the depth has not to be big but little so it's not deep but shallow okay so if we see the intersection here if we deep breathing so we do it so the air comes all the way into the lungs and blends too much. And if we share with the breathing shallow, the air we start breathing comes from here or comes 
to hear or comes to hear. That's very good. You see? So the depth is little, it's shallow. Mm -hmm. Okay? We're always using our not intercostals, not uh, breathing muscle, but the diaphragm muscle. So it's deep by the position. It's a, this muscle. It's longer down. The, the, is, this is in the way it is deeper, but it's not what we mean with the, with the depth. The depth is how deep the new air is coming into the lung. And we want to get it shallow. So the best way of breathing for Buteyko, the best for your health, if people have asthma, if people, they get actually cured. If they start breathing a very little, like that, in and out, or in and out, or in and out, but not longer than to here, because the intersection is small. Here, 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 here. You see? Yeah. Okay. So that's what we are training. When we relax with our diaphragm muscle, we use our diaphragm muscle to breathe. You see? But we, when we relax it, it doesn't really make so much work. It just... Yeah. It moves like that. Not like that. Mm -hmm. Not like that. A little bit. So we actually we are optimizing the energy consumption and the energy production because we don't use our muscles so much and we have maximum throughput maximum oxygen to the cell you see um, we are economizing the energy and we get the most of it so the optimization is very very big Effect effectiveness of the breathing process gets from maybe 20 actually when the when we are ill the effectiveness of our breathing process is about 15 percent and when we are masters of breathing it gets up to 85 percent mm -hmm. you see when we are sick we're hyperventilating too much and very little of oxygen we get a lot of oxygen into the lungs, but very little part of it gets actually to the cell. So the, uh, the effectiveness is very low. When we are training, we are using very much of oxygen. We are reusing all the time our carbon dioxide and the oxygen. We get the new oxygen enough. So the blood is oxygenated enough. But the good thing is that we get all of this oxygen from the blood to the cells. So the effectiveness is at 85%. And we're really good at this. So our task is to heighten, to get a better effectiveness, to optimize the breathing. That's what we're working with. And how Dr. Boutique...